Welcome back. Let's talk about Philippe Lam now, the guy that has been inducted into Bayern Munich Hall of Fame. You know, when you play your football in one club, just like what Toti uh, you know, did, I mean, Philippe Lam is another player. You can say he's committed, not just committed, loyalty, especially, yeah. you know, when you're at a point you, you've won everything with the club, sometimes you want to go to another club and make more money and Correct. all that. But yeah. these players are the type that decide to say, okay, look, Either Bayern or nowhere else. Totti says either Roma or nowhere else. I mean, just want to be king of Rome and remain there till the end. But then here you have Philippe Lam, another players player. player you know. becoming endangered. Yeah. And, yeah, species now. <laughs> you see, I mean, yeah, the football is so different these days. It's hard to see uh, one player yeah. just uh, staying loyal uh, to one single club. But Philippe Lam, you know, has done a, um, a couple of um, uh, loans away from Bayern, but he actually started from the youth uh, set up before uh, eventually becoming a uh, regular, apart from that low moving it to Stuttgart. But it's good to see him as well deserved, well deserved um, um, accolade, honor, and he joins on the likes of Franz Beckenbauer and Gerd Muller. These are absolute legends of Bayern Munich. And um, not surprised at all, this totally expected. Yeah, totally expected. So the last day, you know, of the season will definitely stay with him forever of because of the way will. he was really of honored. But, but then when you have a player like that who captained Germany to the 2014 World Cup, has won the Champions League, the Bundesliga, the German Cup, everything you can think of. Everything. So what else? He's won it all. And he yes, got this. He's just go out <laughs> on the high. And that's exactly what he's done, um, you know, just a, a, a couple of weeks ago when Bayern uh, wrapped up the Bundesliga title. Yeah, that's the way this. Now let's talk about the Super Eagles now. Updates coming from the Super Eagles camp. I'll tell you, we're talking about the fact that most of the players, well, they're supposed to play so against South Africa. Players, oh, yeah. well, I mean, I'm you're really using the word players. key players. Yeah, you Don't be surprised, these guys may not just play in the game against except South that, Africa. Except that, but I'll, I'll be very surprised uh, if that happens. I'll be very surprised if the likes of uh, Victor Moses uh, does not feature against uh, South Africa. He's Nigeria's best player right now. I uh, would say what he's been able to do uh, for the Super Eagles in the qualifiers, especially that's in the World Cup uh, qualifiers. So someone like him, if he misses out, I'll be very surprised. Uh, Mikel Obi was injured at the moment. Obviously, yeah. uh, he's ruled out already. He's not going to make the team. But, but the likes of uh, Odion Egalo, um, yeah. Brown Day, the guys that are in China, uh, those are, um, you know, regulars, regulars uh, for the Super Eagles. And they're not in, the, they're not in camp. So uh, it's a bit of a uh, strange run for me. But like I said, uh, general, I'm sure, has his plans all uh, mapped out already. And I'm sure um, he knows what he's going to do against uh, South Africa. We will try and get in touch, I think, uh, with uh, Super Eagles media officer. Okay. Tony uh, Bittori. Yeah. It's on the phone. I'll tell you, Bito is on the phone right now. We'll be talking to us from Paris. How many players are in camp? We know Ndidi has arrived and several other players. Good morning, Tony. Welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you so much, Sisi. It's a pleasure to be here on my sports this morning. Good to have you here. Now, the game against Koseka is gone. 1 1 it ended. Uh, Kelechi Hena just scoring from the sports to ensure Nigeria at least pick up something from there and to make Nigerians happy. How good was that game and how did the players really, you know, give a good account of themselves? Yeah, it was a, very, it was a good game. And, um, you know, before the game, a lot of people have been, I mean, everywhere asking what is coffee car, what do they look like? And I think um, I tried to let people know that the team is a decent team. Um, coffee car is an island in France and uh, uh, look seeking independence. Uh, the players mostly play for clubs in Ajaccio and Bastia, uh, and they are decent team. Some play in the Belgian top flight. Um, so they were able to put a decent team together, a team of professional players, uh, very much unlike uh, the impression that people have that uh, Corsica is uh, an island um, that do not, have, do not know anything about football. They have players in top flight uh, leagues in France and, uh, and Belgium. It was a good game. Uh, we, you know, started the game with about uh, eight players who have not been capped before. Uh, but I think they gave a good account of themselves. Um, we created a lot of chances. Could, could really have won the game by a wide margin um, if we were a little bit more composed in front of goal and we were more ruthless uh, with the chances that we had. So it was a good game. Um, the intensity was good from start to finish. And uh, everybody um, gave a good account of uh, themselves, which I think is um, gladdening for the coach. Um, 
we need to also let people understand that this is build up to the game against South Africa uh, next month in Uyo. And so it afforded the players an opportunity to get into shape physically and uh, tune their mind mentally to the game um, at its off-season. Um, we have to commend these players for the sacrifice they've made to um, come to camp at off-season when they clearly have gone on vacation with their families or uh, taken time out uh, of the game. So it, it was a good one. And um, the attitude is good. The mentality is uh, good. The commitment that the players have shown is very commendable. Uh, we are happy that uh, the NFF and coach cannot Row were able to put this camp together. Um, so we are building up. Now the next game is on Thursday against the Togo. Um, we have um, an additional player in camp. Alex Iwobi came into camp yesterday. Um, today we are expecting um, Victor Simen and uh, uh, Kelly Kinyanacho who has to leave uh, the Paris camp on Saturday um, to attend to some uh, personal issues um, around his career. So it's, it's, it's really good that we have been able to put this together and uh, I'm sure we'll take it a notch higher in terms of uh, the performance uh, and the quality we showed against Corsica when we play Togo on Thursday. Okay, so I mean, you mentioned um, uh, Kele Chiyana Chow leaving camp to attend to um, issues, um, but the story is, is actually going to uh, wrap up a deal uh, with Western. What can you tell us about that situation? Yeah, well, I cannot um, speculate too much on um, what is not official. Um, I just know that um, he had to leave camp to attend to issues around his career. Probably uh, he moved to another club, um, sort out issues, uh, do some medicals. Um, but the picture will be clearer um, as we go ahead. But we are expecting him to return um, because he left the Paris camp here. Really, we got back from Corsica. Um, he came back with us from Corsica to Paris, and uh, he was accused to go and sort himself out um, so that he can uh, be focused while in camp. And um, we are expecting him to return today, hopefully, and um, we'll be able to pick it up from there. But it's important for him as a young player to get playing time, and whatever decisions 